<laughs> the fans are certainly fired up here. I have just a few of them behind me. <laughs> you guys, they are so excited for this season and the first time that the team is back at home since the World Series. Let's go, Mets! Pumped. Let's go, Mets! Let's go, Mets! And proud. I have been a Mets fan forever. I love them. I live and die with each game. Mets fans cannot contain their excitement. Let's go, Mets. We're on the way to the World Series again this year. Ready for their 2015 National League champs to take the field at today's home opener. Oh, it's awesome. It's, it's opening day. This is how it's supposed to be. You know, in your Queens, it's windy, it's blowing, it's, it's gorgeous. Diehards sporting their orange and blue, including furry fans, filed off the seven train and lined up for the first day of baseball in Flushing this year. I've been here every year except for maybe one year since 1998. It's our daddy-daughter tradition. Who's your favorite player? Jacob DeGrom. This year it's going to be Neil Walker. Several others. Yeah! Woo! Like Sal Capello from White Plains were up and at him even earlier this morning to tailgate. He rolled in around 8.30 with a car full of kids. Still a while school. It's all right. It's a Friday. It's okay. <laughs> Our destination to the World Series. It's, it starts now. They were not alone. It's like Christmas morning. I couldn't sleep last night. Others, like these friends from the Vernon, New Jersey area, needed to fuel up. We got steak kebabs. We have, he brought ribs. We got hot dogs. To cheer on the home team. It's really going to be an exciting season, especially after last year. And there's really no experience like going to City Field. It's a lot better than that other stadium in New York, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Let's go, Mets. <laughs> These people are really excited, right, guys? You're excited. <laughs> the game, guys, is sold out. First pitch is at 110. And they're hoping on a World Series this season. Live at Flushing at City Field, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.